show you this really cool online tool using base 10 blocks. You can find it by going to Math Learning Center and searching for base 10 or number pieces. All right, so down here on the bottom, there's lots of different tools and you're gonna to need to play around with them, but there's a text box where you can, hmm, that's not the one I wanted, the equation one, where you can put in the equation that you're solving for just to notate it, it's not to actually solve it. So for example, say we wanted to do uh, 200 divided by five. So then we could just push done and we could put that in the top so then we don't forget what it is that we're solving for. Now you just drag and drop the base 10 blocks over to the side. So here's 200 and um, then I need to separate them into five different groups or I could make five in each group. So if I want to break these hundreds flats apart, I see this tool at the bottom that shows some blocks being separated and I can click it once, it will separate them into 10 sticks. If I click it again, it separates it into ones. If I want to put them back together, then I do the opposite button. So you can see how that works on both of the flats. So for this one, I think I'm just going to separate into tens first because I know that I have enough to put tens into each group. Once they're separated, you can just drag and separate each of them where you want them to go. So I'm going to make five groups. And then I'm going to keep doing that. So here is another group, another 10. Oops, that one went on top. So make sure you can still see it. And then I can continue with the next one. Oops, I accidentally dragged the whole thing. So let's try again. Still dragging the whole thing. Sometimes that happened a few times when I was practicing. There we go. And I'll continue sharing out my 10 blocks into the five groups. If I think that I need to separate it into ones, then I can do that. But I know that I have five more tens and that's enough to separate into my five groups. Then I can check that each of my groups has the same amount, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40. So then I know that my solution is 40. And I can go back to my equation and type that in there. You can share this with your teacher if she wants you to. Um, on your office account, but if not, you can just do a little screenshot of it as well. All right, thank you so much.